G'day guys and welcome to the first episode of Building TV. My name is Simeon Barrett and each month I'll be taking you through the latest news in the building industry. First off, the Department of Mines, Industry Regulation and Safety has announced it will visit nine regional towns in Western Australia to update the local building and construction industries on changes to the Building Code of Australia and amendments to WA building laws. Despite some of the seminars already having taken place in March and April, there are still ones in Bustleton, Bunbury, Caratha and Broome that will take place in May. The morning session will cover amendments to the 2016 National Construction Code relating to fire safety in high-rise buildings that took effect on 12th of March 2018. It will also look at proposed changes to the 2019 NCC that have been released for public comment. The afternoon session will cover findings of the department's audits, including current and future general inspection projects and an update on other reforms the department is working on, including the Home Indemnity Insurance Scheme. Further information can be found at www.commerce.wa.gov.au. The National Centre for Vocational Education Research has released data that shows just over 57,000 people completed apprenticeships in Victoria last year, half the number from five years ago. This data surfaced shortly after online tradie marketplace, hipages.com.au, showed Victorian plumbers were the highest paid tradies in Australia at an average of $95.28 per hour. Laser Group Management Chief Executive Steve Carl says that parents and teachers should be informing their children and students by promoting what qualifications they can get through apprenticeships. While he encourages everyone to aspire to follow their dreams, a university degree doesn't always equal success. For those who decide to build on their trade knowledge, a position in electrical engineering is not out of reach and is one of the only industries where pay parity between men and women exists. So mums and dads, keep an open mind when speaking to your daughter about a career in trade. CSR Giprock is adding a trade-only rewards program for its 55 Giprock trade and 38 internal lighting specialist stores which are spread across the country. The rewards program has been designed to reward loyal customers and give members the ability to earn points for dollars spent on Giprock products. Whatever points are earned can then be used on rewards varying from fitness equipment to tools of the trade. To complement the addition, members will also be the first ones to know about competitions, promotions, exclusive deals, industry news and events, along with online training modules. If you're currently a Giprock customer or want to be one, you can join the program by applying online or in store. World Skills Australia and Vell Training have announced that they will be partnering to deliver the Skills Pathway Expo as part of Skills Show Australia 2018. The Skills and Trade event is being held at the International Convention Centre in Sydney to demonstrate the diversity of vet options and providers available for students across a range of skills and trades. It will deliver a hub of respectable resources and information relating to vet pathways as well as access to key industry leaders. World Skills Australia and Vell Training are inviting registered training organisations across Australia to get involved in the Skills Pathway Expo to help raise the profile of skills in Australia. RTOs will be given the opportunity to meet and build relationships with potential students, promote and increase awareness of vocational education opportunities and launch new courses that are being created to fill the skills shortage areas within Australia's economy. The event will also feature a skills show which will see more than 400 apprentices and trainees compete in 50 skills at the World Skills Australia National Championships. They will also compete for an opportunity to represent Australia at the 45th World Skills International Competition which will be held in Russia in 2019. Skills Show Australia will be held from June 2nd to 4th. For more information please visit www.skillshow.org.au. For more news and regular updates on these stories or any others, make sure to check out our website, buildingconnection.com.au and give us a follow on our social media. I'll see you all next time.